Hello, hello. Hello, Eric. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, my friend. I'm doing well. You know, uh, I'm actually a little jealous. I, so I understand that your birthday is on Cinco de Mayo? Yep, that's right. My birthday is on Cinco de Mayo. And Eric, sometimes I don't even know what age I'm going to be. I have to go to my famous birthday's profile to find it out. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> my birthday is on Cinco amazing. de Mayo. Yeah, I'm because a Cinco de what Mayo that means baby. is every year, everybody's partying already for your birthday. So you don't have to convince anybody to go out. I know, right? I just stay at home and say, all right, everyone, go out and celebrate my birthday on Cinco de Mayo. Do it. Do it now. No, I'm <laughs> By the way, uh, Eric, I have a sombrero hat that I've never even, I've never worn a sombrero hat in my entire life, Eric, but I thought it would be, you know, in honor of our Cinco de Mayo interview, so I'm going to put it on right now. I feel like I'm the guy, the little animated guy outside at South of the Border. I don't know if you've ever seen that when you pass by on the interstate, but that's what I feel like right now, Eric. That's right. Yes, that's right. <laughs> You know, that that's, I love it. I love the enthusiasm. And also, I just thought about something. Your birthday is actually almost a double-edged sword because sometimes, I guess, it's probably almost too busy to go out on your yeah. own birthday. Well, Eric, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, tell us what are authentic ways that we can celebrate Cinco de Mayo this year because COVID is over with and we're all back in person mixing and mingling. <laughs> You know, one thing I love about Cinco de Mayo is just the history and the celebration of culture. But before I start talking about the food and drink, I wanted to mention one thing, and that's that a lot of people out there think that Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of Mexico's independence, but it's actually a celebration of the Mexican army's victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla in 1863. And I think it's a great opportunity to celebrate and honor Mexican culture in an authentic and meaningful way through food and drink. Now, Eric, tell us about the new margarita recipes that you've designed. This sounds real interesting. Okay, so basically what we did is we took three of our favorite casica cheeses and mm -hmm. paired those up with uh, riffs on the margarita. So the first mm -hmm. one is called the Blanco de Mayo, and that's tequila, lime, grapefruit, cinnamon, and bitters. And that one pairs with the casica queso blanco queso dip. The next one, it's called the Fresco Rita. And that one is a peach and almondy type of cocktail. And it has tequila, lemon, peach liqueur, almond syrup, and bitters. And that one is made specifically to pair with Casica Ranchero brand queso fresco, which is milky, salty, and fresh. And lastly, mm -hmm. we have the Oaxaca Rita. And that's tequila mezcal, lime, pineapple, grenadine, and orange bitters. And that cocktail was specifically formulated to pair with Casica Oaxaca, which is a cheese that's similar to mozzarella, but even meltier. Mm, well, Eric, I have some in my cup right now. No, I'm kidding. I do not have none in my cup right now. <laughs> that sounds great. Hey, I would sounds have been like impressed. a great. <laughs> sounds like a great way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo with a nice drink. Now, do you have any advice for novice mixologists? You know what? When it comes to, to Food and drink at home, especially, you know, mm -hmm. those of, um, you know, when, when it's part of the Mexican culture, you want to start with something authentic. You want to start with the food. You want something like cacique quesos, uh, their cremas, right. their chorizos. When it comes to the cocktails, you want to use fresh juices and quality tequila. Now, what are some of your favorite dishes for Cinco de Mayo? Because we can't forget about the delicious Mexican food. You know what? It's like, you know, no celebration would be complete without food. So I'm mm -hmm. glad you asked. Um, my favorite way to start the party is to start with the Casique Queso Blanco Queso Dip, just because it's so easy to make and so delicious. Honestly, you just throw in the microwave for about two or three minutes, grab a bag of tortilla chips, and my friend, you are in business. Uh, the other dish that we have here in front of me are the enchiladas. And these are stuffed with Ranchero brand Queso Fresco with a little bit of additional Queso Fresco on top. I love chips and cheese. Uh, that is my favorite thing to get when I go to a Mexican restaurant, Eric. So you cannot beat you know, the chips you can't and beat the cheese. It. I wanted to talk about real quick, um, the yeah. quesadillas made with uh, Oaxaca cheese. Uh -huh. it, it comes out melty or gooey and it's so much more authentic than using, you know, like a mozzarella and cheddar cheese bun that you might get at the grocery store. Now, Eric, how can we order our own fiesta in a box? That sounds real interesting. Tell us more about that. You know what, Noah, I'm glad that you asked. It could not be easier. Instead of running all over town, picking up the ingredients that you need, taking time out of your busy day, instead, you can just go to cocktailcourier.com and order your Fiesta in a box, and it comes with all the quesos and all the ingredients that you would need to make these cocktails. It literally could not be easier. 
Eric Castro, thank you so much for your time here at iHollywood TV. It was a pleasure to get to speak with you and meet you, and you take care. You have a great and happy Cinco de Mayo, and I appreciate the conversation this morning. Of course, thank you, and also in advance, happy birthday, my friend.